just can't believe that this is going to be our part two for Undertale. All right, so I guess this is where we start off now. It's these settings. All right, now about that one frog that was talking about the border. Um, let's see what we get. Oh, so that's all we get for now. Um, let's stick with... Let's stick with... Dynamic. Because why not? Alright. Let's continue. So, let's see. We went, like... Right, that's right. We went all the way over here. Which, you know, we gotta kind of speed run. Alright, so we left off right here. Now, we already put the switch. Oh. First battle, alright. I want to see the Mold Small's attack. Mold Small is ruminating. Okay. See mercy, spare. Swing your arms, baby. Um, okay. Are you sparable now? All right. That's what I thought. All right. So then, let's face this Vegetoid before like we don't find anymore. Vegetoid came out of the earth. No, no, no. We're not fighting him. Dinner. That's it. We gotta go with dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. All right. That was a close one. All right, now he's spared. All right, so now let's keep on progressing through. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. It's a switch, press it. Nothing happened. Is there anything in there? No. It's a switch, press it. Yes, nothing happened. Oh, psh, it was already open. Looks junior. Looks. Check. Let's check it. Looks. Attack six, defense six. Don't pick on him. Family name, I Walker. Please don't pick on me. All right, I won't. Okay, this guy doesn't have a so bad of an attack. All right. No, don't pick on. I almost did pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Oh, great. All right, you want your zero XP and five gold. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, that's what that was for. All right, what does this sign say? If you can read this, press the blue switch. There's no blue switch in here. Vegetoid toy came out of the earth. Act. My gosh, talk. I don't care. Part of a complete breakfast. No, maybe we should have done dinner first. All right. That's just way it offers a healthy meal, eat your greens. Uh, wait, I could not read what my gosh just said, and I just missed it. Dinner. Pat your stomach, vegetoid offers a healthy meal, eat your greens. All right. I guess my gospel will keep on dancing. All right. You're in zero XP and six gold. What does the red switch do? Okay. So then, it's a blue switch. You notice there was a blue switch behind the... Of course. Of course the game had to be tricking me. All right. If you can read this, press the red switch. Oh, come on. I'm gonna talk to them like gosh, verbal burb from Old Small. All right, now we just gotta wait for my gosh to stop dancing. All right, you won, you're in zero XP and two gold. It's a switch, press it, yes. You hear a clicking sound, all right? All 
If you can read this, press the green switch. It's a switch, press it. There's the green switch. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, if Wilkes is picky on me, I'll pick on him. You, you rude old snipe. Okay. Oh boy. How did I not take any damage? All right, we'll need Vegetoid to help. All right. Great. Great. This is a weird attack. Oh, great, great. We're gonna have to spare the Vegetoid. And deal with the rest of these guys. Alright, so I think it's looks that we need to not pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Alright. Ooh. Being me is the best. Alright, see, this is like the whole strategy. You know, maybe I should have done something about looks first. All right, but you know what? That doesn't matter anymore. Please tell me there's a save point. Frog it. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a, a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. Or we are all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. What is this? Oh my gosh, I get my own knife. Found the... Oh, wow, it was a toy knife. All right, wait a second. Ooh, use. You equipped the toy knife. Yes. Yay, let's see our stat. Caden level one, HP 720, attack zero, three. All right, so we can finally get three attack. Wow. Oh wow, and we're pretty rich on our gold. Hopefully for it with Toriel again. Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you wanted to call me mother, you are an interesting child. What? Okay, I'm not gonna ask anything else about Toriel, but let's see what this is. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh great. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Alright. Ooh. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Alright, well, one thing's for sure. We definitely got our toy knife. For, like, self-defense. Do you smell that? Surprise, it is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, wow. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Wait, you eat snail pie? Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, wow. Toriel's spitting us on the head. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Say hello. This is Toriel. Oh, my child. Sorry, I do not. Oh, come on. Uh, an empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. A box of kids' shoes. Uh, all right. Oh, we just turned off the lights. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. What is this? Wait. <gasps> Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Yeah, I've seen this type of plant before, <laughs> but do not know its name. All right. What's in here? Whose room is this? It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Okay. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. 
It's Toriel's diary. <laughs> read the circled passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Why does she have a cactus? Ah, the cactus. Truly the most slender of plants. Okay. Just a regular old bucket of snails. What? Okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I, I can't. Wait, we never seen what's down here. So the drawer of flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Oh my gosh. It's my face. It's you. Oh, it is a, <laughs> it is a water sausage. Oh my gosh, it's from that book that we read. All right. Wait, it's downstairs. You need to see what's downstairs. Why is it so quiet down here? Oh my gosh. I think you should play upstairs instead. What? Hold up. First, let's talk to Toriel. We need to talk to Toriel first. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, <laughs> I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. When can I go home? Right, let's just say nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Okay. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins? Fire alarm. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Uh, how to exit the ruins? Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? Nothing. If you need anything, just ask. Then we'll ask how to exit the ruins. Wait. The size of pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. This stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Okay. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. All right. Wait, what if we just spoke to Toriel? Dolly, hey, you silly child. If you want to talk to me, I'm right here. All right, I wanted to see what happens. All right, what is it? I, I, exit the I have to do something. Stay here. No, where are you going? Where'd she go? She like went into. All right, you know what? Now's our time. We can sneak out. All right. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. No. How is she so much faster than me? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, as were, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No, I'm not going to my room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I don't care. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove, that, prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Oh no. No. Toriel, check. Toriel, attack 80. Defense 80. Knows best for you. Whoa. Eh. Okay. Let's talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, great. Great. 
Great, why did I check? No, stop it. You try to think of something to say again, but no, 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 spirit, no, stop, 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 stick, let's eat the pie first, you eat the butterscotch pie, your HP is maxed out, oh, great, spirit, Oh, come on. How was I able to dodge too much of that? Oh, great. No, Toriel, stop. Stop. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Toriel. What are you doing? Oh, no. What are you doing? Attack or run away. Great. Finally, I know how to dodge that attack. What are you proving? No, stop. No, I can't. I can't see this. Fight me or leave. No. Stop it. Wait, what is going on? Stop looking at me like that. No, what is going on? The fees are stick. You threw the stick away, then picked it back up. What? No. Spirit, go away. No, we, we need to talk. What is going on? What is going on here? Torio prepares a magical attack. Wait, what? What is this? Toriel looks through you. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. -ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I wish not to stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. We get a hug from Toriel. Goodbye, my child. Notorial. <sighs> All right. Let's go on now. Let's keep going. Uh, how far are we going to go? This is taking a while. All right. Oh, come on. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? Well, yeah, knowing that uh, you were talking about this love thing that made me want to avoid, yeah, I, th I think I am pretty big brain at that. In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person, hee <laughs> hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time, but what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I'm the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my old monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Oh, what? 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 What is that face? Okay, I guess he's gone. Oh, here we go. There we go, we get Undertale again. Oh my gosh. By Toby Fox. Hmm. Here we 
Alright, let's see what else is next. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Is someone stalking me? I never knew that. Oh wait, our background has changed. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Uh, it, it's been smashed like it was nothing. What happened? Uh, who the frick was that? Okay, why is it so scary right here? What is going on? Um, human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Right. Yes, this is our boy Sand. Wait, what? <laughs> the one will be cushioned in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sands, Sands the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Oh, wow. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. What? Oh my gosh. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all of the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. What? What do you dream, Papyrus? Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll be there to help. Sands, you're not even helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and bone doodle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Oh my gosh. Sands. Come on. You're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Oh my gosh, stop it. <sighs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark ca cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well, you ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my... Oh, alright. So I guess he's gonna keep on saying that. It's some sort of checkpoint of Sentry Station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Is that like a hot dog stand? All right. What about the lamp? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Oh my gosh. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. You just walked backwards. Ooh. 
The convenience of that lamp fills, well, still fills you with determination. All right. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming with- Oh. It's literally a box lover. What? Use the box? Yes. Huh. All right, we'll put the stick in there. I don't know what the tough glove is about. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decided not to call. You send the line back out. It's a fishing rod affixed to it. Yes, all that's it. All right. A Toriel's phone, dialing. No, but why Toriel? Why you gotta do that to me? Oh my gosh. So, as I was saying about dying. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my gosh, what is going on? I never thought I'd see that in me again. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. You're talking about that rock? Oh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, <laughs> Sans, I finally did it. And I will, I'm gonna, I'll be so popular, popular, popular. <laughs> Ahem, human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you do it. Yeah, heh <laughs> heh Oh, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I right, finally, he heads forward, but I wonder how he got there. Ring, ring. Uh, uh, oh my god, help. I'd like to order a... A pizza with, uh, toppings are, uh, I have them copied. I'll just paste them to you. Your phone is too old to receive text. It reads out loud, character by character, an A-S-C-I-I art of an anime cat girl. Click. What? What was that? Was that about the number? Wait, what? Snowdrake footage forward. What the frick are you supposed to be? Check. Snowdrake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep in captive audience. Fights you in cold blood. Okay, so my question... Wait, I already forgot what it was about. Um, wait, alright, I remember. So, was the person that called us, was it the number on the fishing rod? Hmm... Um, laugh. He laughed at Snowdrake's pun. See, laughs dad was wrong. Whoa! Finally, spare boy. You won. You earned zero XP and 12 gold. What is this? There's some narration on this cardboard box. <laughs> oh my gosh! You observed the well crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was a very <laughs> famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Oh my gosh. Ah, Papyrus. Absolutely no moving. What the, who are you? Did, some, did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll be sure it never moves again. What the, doggo walks away. Okay. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay. What? Doggo can't seem to find anything. Check. Doggo, attack 13, defense 7. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Will it move this time? <laughs> Wait, hold up. I want to toy with this guy. He pet Doggo. What? I've been pet? Pet, 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 pet. Hey, you pet doggo, where's that coming from? Pet, 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 what? 
Hey, you pet doggo. There's no end to it. Oh my god. Pet doggo. Oh, this is th this is thorough. Hold up. I want to see what keeps on happening. You pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. I want to keep on petting. I'm, I'm gonna keep on petting. You pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. Oh. oh. Okay, I almost moved into that. You won. You earned zero XP and 30 gold. Wow. So, something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need my, some dog treats for this. Oh my gosh. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Alright. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign is 10. Simple, right? When fighting, think about the blue stop signs. Okay, so then I guess I shall remember about blue stop signs. Oh my gosh. Ice cap struts into view. You inform Ice cap that it has a gray hat. Envy is too bad. Whoa. Whoa. Your attacks are crazy. Oh no. No, I'm gonna save that. Oh. All right. So now I know how you dodge this attack. Hopefully, ignore it. You managed to tear to tear your eye, tear your eyes away from ice caps. Uh, it looks annoyed. Hello, <laughs> my hats. Okay, I guess I skipped that by mistake. What happens if I steal? You try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Oh, Fashion Police. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Please. Please just let me spare you. Thank you. Oh, who are you? Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see this world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, try warrior, please. Take a piece of me and bring it as far. Alright. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Okay. I'll bring it as far as possible. Alright. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Uh, oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. But you see, this is invisible. Electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, there's a horrible and minister hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. What the frick just happened? Sands, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Damn, my voice changed like that. Oh, okay. What? Oh my gosh. Hold this, please. What? Why do you throw it so high? Oh my gosh. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah. Sans, please talk to me. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? <laughs> we made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn any anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I bet you he is. Oh great, I didn't have the chance to talk to Sans. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some ice cream? 
Oh my gosh, I need it so bad. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. What? All right, perfect deal. Here you go, have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. I'm glad I made this guy's day much better. What is this? What is this? Um. Oh, there you are. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G, buy it. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G, buy it. Really? About 5,000G, buy it. 5,000G, that's my final offer. Boy, you don't have this money. Have, hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Is there any point where I can save? What is this? Ah, wow. Whoa, it's a hole. Hey. Right. No, hold up. We need... Right. I, I need to, like, go explore the area. How is Sand Sand? His... Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating can become yellow rating. That's suspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Weird smell. Humans green ra rating. Destroys all that cost. Alright, all the colors swapped. Alright. Human, I hope you're ready for it. Sands, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. All right. Sans, that didn't do anything. Oops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What, crossword? I cannot believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumbles is easy, is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Uh, unbelievable. Human, it's all this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? Um, I'm gonna get a crossword. I don't know what jumble is, so I'll just say jumble. Ha ha, yes. Humans must be very intelligent if they also find junior jumble so difficult. Yeah. Thanks for saying junior jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Okay. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Oh, do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Decide to taste you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly shaped again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, Papyrus. Okay. All right, so it's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. Oh my gosh, what is up with everything being stuck to the table? Why is there a microwave here? It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say, say spaghetti. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, Toro. All right, well, I think this is going to conclude the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.